www.kareelaradio.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja. And today we are making a dry chutney made with karela. Now this is also known as bitter melon or bitter gourd in some parts. And here's what you'll need. Three large Chinese bitter melon or karela, de-seeded. Salt to taste. Two tablespoons oil. Quarter teaspoon mustard seeds. And eighth teaspoon fenugreek seeds. Half cup of roughly crushed peanuts. Two tablespoons sesame seeds. Quarter teaspoon turmeric powder. Red chili powder to taste. One teaspoon coriander powder. Half teaspoon cumin powder. One tablespoon lime or lemon juice or to taste. Okay, so for the karela chutney, first what we've done is we've we had deseeded the karela. Now we've uh, actually put it in the food processor and finely chopped it. Now you can do it by hand if you want, but uh, it's just we feel that it's just gets evenly chopped, so it gets evenly cooked. So it, there's no like raw pieces and um, semi cooked pieces in there. Right. And uh, the other thing, a very important thing that we're going to do is sprinkle this uh, mixture with a little bit of salt and then mix it thoroughly. And there's two reasons why we do this. Uh, of course, if you've ever had a karela or a bitter melon, you know it's very bitter. So uh, by putting the salt in it and letting it sit for about 30 minutes, it pulls out all the bitterness and uh, uh, we're going to end up squeezing all the water out. So that's your second purpose. It dries out the karela because this is going to be, of course, a dry chutney. Right. So those are the two reasons. So we've sprinkled it with salt. Hence mixed the name. It. Bitter melon. Yes. <laughs> also, we actually put a little more salt than needed, uh, primarily because you uh, you're going to squeeze the water out, so uh, a lot of the water, uh, the salt will go away, so you don't have to worry about over salting it in any case. And now we're just going to keep this for about 30 minutes and uh, squeeze the water out later. Okay, so it's been about half an hour. Our uh, canela has been sitting here in the salt, and we're going to go ahead and squeeze out all the water and. Uh, of course, wash your hands, and you're just going to take a little bit of your hands and just squeeze the life out of it. <laughs> the whole point is we want it as dry as possible, so squeeze with all your might and just keep it to the side. And while she's murdering that, <laughs> I have a not, I have a medium-sized pan on medium heat, and actually it's heated up. I'm going to go ahead and put in the oil and allow it to heat up. And actually one thing I wanted to mention is the juice out of the karela is very, very nutritious. Uh, you know, you people, a lot of people drink it for medicinal properties, but this one you cannot because it has got a lot of salt added on in it, so it may not be a very good uh, idea of drinking it. But you can use this uh, juice towards like, put it in some dal, of course it will give a different flavor but it'll really taste good or um, knead it in your dough for the atta mm -hmm. or you know just I mean just add it onto something you'll get the I mean, you'll just add a little bit so it's not bitter right. but yet you get the you know the goodness of the karela and actually when you put it inside of flour there's so much flour that uh, the bitterness actually is not even there you'll get yeah. this wonderful flavor right. without the bitterness you can't tell yeah so now I think this is ready the oil and I'm going to go ahead and add in the mustard seeds Allow them to pop. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put in the methi seeds or the fenugreek seeds. And good, got my armor ready. This is the sesame seeds. Now you have to be very careful because they pop. So keep that cover handy. Yes. Alright, this is ready. I'm going to go ahead and add in the peanuts. And then we're going to cook them till uh, they get a little color. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't want raw peanuts. Right. <laughs> but I'm sure if you're using roasted peanuts, I'm sure it'll be a lot faster. Yeah, right? it's, it's a lot faster that way also. All right, this looks done. It's uh, got a wonderful color and a wonderful aroma. aroma. Yes. So we can uh, go ahead and add our murdered karela. <laughs> <laughs> murdered karela. Get all your aggression out of that. <laughs> We're going to give it a good, good stir and also add in all our spices. We have our red chili powder. This cumin powder. 
coriander powder, and turmeric powder. What? No salt? No salt? <laughs> <laughs> People are going to faint over there. <laughs> you know, we've already salted it so much yes. that uh, it's not going to require any more salt. And the other thing is, it looks like a lot right now, but it will reduce down quite a bit. So the salt that's already in there will only intensify. But you know, at the very end, you can taste it, and if you need it, you can go ahead and add it, but we wouldn't recommend adding any at this time. Plus also you're going to be adding lemon juice. So. Right. Yeah, that adds, that helps. So once this is nicely mixed, we're going to cover it and cook it until the karela are nice and tender. Be sure to keep an eye on this and give it a stir so it doesn't burn. So the karela actually uh, got nice and tender and cooked and uh, then we go went ahead and removed the cover and now we're just basically just going to dry it down to, you know, uh, like a crisp, uh, mm -hmm. you know, basically you want it to be nice and crisp. But again, this is a, a personal preference. If you like the uh, karela on a little bit on the moist side, then you can stop at any point in time. It's not going to hurt it. But mm -hmm. uh, this is kind of like a dry chicken. Um, it, it's you know eaten just on a very, very small yeah. quantities, and uh, it tastes wonderful when it's nice and crispy. We're also going to go ahead and add some lime juice in there. And uh, still cook it a little bit more and this is going to give the lime juice a little bit more time to evaporate. It's done. It looks wonderful. Look at it. You can see the peanuts. You know, it's, there's little chunks of karela. You can dry it further if you like, but this is, I think, nice. It's good enough. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Now again, you know, this has gone down quite a bit and it's really a concentrated flavor, so just a, you know, a tablespoon is probably yeah. enough, you know, to enjoy. Mm -hmm. But it tastes great with chapatis or even sprinkled on some rice. It has a wonderful flavor and uh, it stays in the refrigerator for quite a few days. So right. if you make this and keep it, you know, it'll be, it'll be okay to enjoy for the week. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the stove. And actually one tip I'd definitely like to give is, you know, if you use a flattish, uh, and a more open kind of pan, it dries up a little faster. So as opposed to using a small, you know, a saucepan or a little pot, it's going to just take a little longer. So just try and use a flat bottomed one or just an open one like this. It'll just speed up the process a lot more. So anyway, join us again in another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. And pinch a spice to your life.